Hello everybody. We are a group of Mechatronic students in the term of summer 2021 with a specialization in the field of robotics. My name is Julian Schneider. In this video we would like to introduce you to the digital twin of the Station 50 of the Smart Factory Outfab. Station 50 consists of a 6-axis industrial robot from Denso Robotics which assembles relays that are delivered in individual parts via a shuttle. It is possible to choose different configuration setups of the relay. A shuttle transports the relay out of the station. The main task of the project has been the design of a digital twin that uses and simulates the original programming of the robot. You can test the software without using the real hardware in order to avoid physical damage. Now you can see the architecture of the digital twin. We use the program ZIMIT as a branching point of the architecture. In general, ZIMIT is used for the complete simulation of plans, devices and signals. However, here it is only used for the communication between programs. The TIER project runs on a virtual PLC and PLC ZIM Advanced. The real controller is connected with a robot controller via Profinet. This connection is simulated by ZIMIT. ZIMIT communicates with the instance and PLC ZIM Advanced and the virtual robot controller from Denso. The real robot programs run on the virtual robot controller. Among other things, the set points for the joint angles are determined here. In addition to the Profinet data, the joint angles of the robot are also transmitted to ZIMIT via communication with the virtual robot controller. ZIMIT then passes these on to NXMCD where a model of the Station 50 is simulated. This model moves according to the angles and returns sensor values back to the instance, PLC ZIM Advanced. Some sensor values are also transmitted back to the virtual robot controller via ZIMIT. Now we will perform the virtual commissioning. It is important to follow the particular order in which the software components are being started. At first, one needs to open WinCaps 3 and start the VRC. Afterwards, the PLC SIM advanced and SIM it should be opened and started. Now, start of the simulation in SIM it should follow to be started. If a PLC SIM Advanced instance has been created, it is now the time to open the TIA portal and connect with the virtual SPS. In the virtual commissioning observation table, the variables must be forced to the desired values. After the above steps has been successfully completed, an X Mechatronics concept designer is ready to be opened now. You should now be able to see the started VRC, which stands for Virtual Robot Controller. The green LED indicates that the engine has been started. By pushing the play button, it would be possible to start a robot program. A speed of 50% is selected for the simulation which can be seen on the bar display on the right side next to the engine and the brake. We are now going to switch over to the TIA portal and there we are able to see that we are connected successfully to the virtual SPS. The sequence chain of the automatic operation is shown, which is currently in the initial step. How to start the assembly cycle is going to be explained further in the following. One can see a diagram from SIMIT, which can be used to simulate the push buttons and therefore inputs. The key release is pushed and then pending errors are acknowledged. By pressing the start button, the automatic cycle is started. A quick look back into the TIA portal shows that the step chain is now in the step 2 and is waiting for the shuttle doors to open. Now. One is able to switch to the CAD model, 
in the NX Mechatronics Concept Designer and to start the simulation in there. The simulation in Siemens NX is started by pushing the play button, which couples the 3D model to the virtual PLC and the robot controller. You can see that the robot moves to its home position and that the lift doors open. Also, the shuttle starts moving. In the simulation, all collision bodies are highlighted by red outlines on contact. This is how an active collision can be detected. Sensors can be recognized by green outlines. However, these are only shown as long as they are active. As soon as the shuttle has reached the assembly position within the cell, a collision sensor is activated. The outlines can be seen in green. This stops the shuttle and the assembly cycle is started. Firstly, the safety lift doors, monitored by end position sensors, have to be closed so that the robot can start moving and dock the assembly tool onto its flange. After that, the protective module is mounted onto the base. The robot positions the gripper over the protective module, then moves down in a linear motion to grip the protective module. Now the robot moves to the mounting position above the base. To mount the protective module, the robot also moves down in a linear motion until the protective module is securely positioned in the base. Then the relay is taken. It still has to be rotated by 180 degrees before it can be mounted. This is done in a PTP movement while positioning the relay above the base. Now the robot also moves down in a linear motion until the relay is securely placed in the base. The red highlighting indicates that both components are firmly positioned in the base. When the robot has reached the home position after assembly, the lift doors open and the shuttle moves out of the assembly cell. As soon as the shuttle has passed another collision sensor, the lift doors are safe to close. They close and the robot puts the assembly tool back into the tool tray, as there is no further assembly job. When the robot has reached its home position, the lift doors open again. The simulation is finished at this point. A complete assembly cycle has been simulated. The simulation can now be started again in NXMCD via the restart button, and a new assembly cycle will run.